Hi everyone, my name is Chris Holbert. I'm an iOS developer from Sydney, Australia. I work to places like 9MSN, Fox Sports and Google. And in this screencast I want to show you a simple way to save data and load it again in your iPhone app to uh, JSON files stored locally on the device. Now this is appropriate for simple apps uh, without a huge amount of data. Um, other approaches you might want to think about are storing data in SQLite or core data or uh, through an API in the cloud somewhere but this approach is probably more appropriate for you know, a simpler app and so it's a good place to get started. Alright and um, I apologize for how um, raw this uh, screencast might be. Um, it may put me up to these and I'm giving it a go and uh, unfortunately I don't have the time to edit them so this is raw live and unedited so uh, I hope you get something out of it. Alright um, Here's my website, please uh, subscribe to my mailing list here if you want to get news on upcoming screencasts. Hope you get something out of those. Um, this is a second in a series, so um, if you haven't seen the screencast before this, um, you'll find it linked in the same place you found this one. And um, here on GitHub is the uh, location of the source code, which you might find useful. And here's the YouTube um, channel where I'm uploading all these videos. Great. All right, uh, in the previous screencast, I made this to-do list. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can add items, blah, but they don't get saved or loaded. So when you restart the app, they're gone. Poof. So uh, let's make it do that this time. Um, all right, so uh, let's fire up Xcode and get cracking. Great. All right, um, if you might remember from last time, in the to-do view controller, or the new to-do view controller rather, we, when the person taps the save button, it adds it to the items in the to-do manager. So what we're going to do here is tell the to-do manager to save it. So that's giving us an error because we need to add that save function. So let's do that. Our function in our to do manager. Now, last time I left this out of order, I normally like to have properties first, statics, and then uh, non static functions. Okay, so firstly, we need to get the folder where we want to save it to. So, this bit of code, line of code is a bit um, curly, but it's pretty common, so don't get too hung up on it. Okay, so we've now got the um, path where documents are to be stored for this app. Let's log it to the console. path of the JSON file that we're going to save to. Now, um, rather than have a magic string with the name of that file name, I want to make it static up the top of this, or a constant rather. Um, now, I call it a constant, but it is actually a static, because Statics have the property that they don't get shared between files. So I can have two statics called kfileName in different uh, m files and they won't clash. Whereas if you use constants, they would clash. So that's a good thing. So yeah, for any of your magic constants or strings, just call them static. It's a quirk of C. All right, so to get the file path that we're going to save to pending path component great alright so now we've got the path to save to now to save to JSON you need to make a dictionary containing arrays and dictionaries and strings 
and then you can use NSJSON serialization to convert that into a file. So firstly, we need to get our list of to-do items, which are strongly typed, uh, strongly typed model objects, and convert them into dictionaries, which are suitable for JSON conversion. So, Okay, now because the to-do item might later on down the track have extra fields, we don't want to put the logic for converting it into a dictionary in the manager. We want to put it into the to-do item. So let's go into the to-do item and do just that. Let's add a method that returns this as a dictionary. Now, because we're using um, Xcode 4.6, I think, what version am I using? 4.6, that's right. Um, we can use this lovely um, way of creating dictionary literals. Basically, it means that's the key and that's the value. So the key is a string and the value is also a string. It's the instance variable behind this property. So that property is called title, the instance variable that backs that property is the same title, but it has an underscore at the start. All right, so now let's use that in the manager. Great, now we've got an array full of uh, JSON compatible dictionaries which will represent these to do items. Now let's put that into a big dictionary that we will then uh, serialize as JSON. Okay, great. Now we can convert this JSON dictionary into data and then save it. Okay, great. So now when this method is called, it'll get the path, it'll convert it into a JSON dictionary and save that dictionary. And um, that should just work. So let's, uh, let's try that out now. I've just opened the console here. Uh, apologize that this is probably taking a while to load the simulator. My screencast software chews through the CPU like you wouldn't believe. It'll get there. Great. Okay, so let's add something. All right. See here it's logged. I'm saving to this location. Let's see what it's done. All right, in this folder you can see to-do items. And as you can see, that's a nice chunk of JSON. So, yeah. I will open that. Yeah. 
I will open that in a JSON editor online so you can read that a bit better. This pipe to PB copy is a nice little trick for um, copying or piping anything to the um, to the clipboard. Great, so it's just one big dictionary with items in it. Items is an array, and each array element has is a dictionary. Each array element is a dictionary containing a title, which that's all pretty self-explanatory and pretty simple and straightforward looking JSON. Great, all right, so now we've got saving down pat. Now let's work on loading. Okay, as you can see now in the to-do manager, in its init method, it just makes these two dummy ones, dummy items, and starts off the items array with that. Let's get rid of that and do something properly. Load will need the path, the same as save did. So let's um, let's abstract that out. So we can reuse this bit of code. So in our load method, um, let's firstly load what data we can get. Now uh, notice we haven't checked to see whether the file exists or not. Uh, data with contents of file is nice. Uh, it doesn't crash if the file is missing. It just returns nil. So let's check. Let's make sure that this load method gets called when the manager starts. And let's move that items array initialization in here. Alright, so if the file exists, let's load it. Done. This is great. I was five gave us this lovely in this JSON serialization thing for this. For I was five, passing JSON would have been a complete nightmare. So uh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Alright, so we're now gonna dictionary. That dictionary will have items which will contain an array. So let's iterate through that array. So this will iterate through the array, and the idea is where I've got this to do. I will parse that item into a to-do item, and add that to the items array. Now, similarly to how earlier, when saving, I thought it was a better idea to put the JSON serialization in the to-do item, I also want to put the parsing in that same spot. And the way I'm going to do that is with a custom initialization method. So let's see how we can overwrite our own initializer. Okay, this here is the boilerplate for writing your own initializer. It's all pretty standard. And that's uh, in here is where we can put uh, put the ability to pull the title out. Very 
very straightforward. Let's put that in the header. And now let's take advantage of that in the manager. Isn't that great? It's even suggesting the method. Alright, so that's created the item. Now we add it to the array. Before we run this, I'm going to delete the old item. Or the old JSON file, rather. Okay, so we've now got our load method. So when the manager starts, it calls load. Load tries to read the file. If the file exists, it parses the file here and then it loops through it converting JSON into proper model objects adding those to the array if the file doesn't exist it just starts with an empty array alright let's run this and see how we go so um, put the kids to bed that's an item you never need on your to-do list because as a parent, you will dearly want to do that without being reminded. Let's check the file. That looks good. Okay, great. Now let's run the app again, and hopefully it should load that. It's loaded it. Great. All right. Um, that's it for tonight. I hope you've had a slightly useful experience watching this. As always, thanks a lot for your attention. And um, if you got something out of that, please subscribe to my mailing list so that uh, you can keep up to date as I make new ones of these. I'm hoping to make one screencast every week or so. Also, uh, if you contact me, um, my email address is on my blog somewhere. It's up here. Um, if you contact me, I'm all open to suggestions on what to cover in any screencasts. Great, thanks for your time.